Hello students, welcome to my channel Online Biology Tutorials. In this video, we will study about cell wall. Now before I start with cell wall, I would like to speak about the topics that we have covered. We have talked about grades of organization, how cells slowly and gradually make an organism. We also talked about discovery of cell and its various components. What is the difference between unicellular and multicellular organism? What are the different types of cells present in the human body? What is protoplasm? What is plasma membrane, its structure and it function, its functions? And in the functions, there were few terms that I have discussed in a separate video. Diffusion has been discussed, osmosis has been done and bulk transport has also been done. Remember, the solutions that we discussed under osmosis, types of solutions, that is also very, very important to be understood. I hope you are liking my video series. If you have any query, please don't forget to ask. The email is already been given in the description of each video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, what is cell wall? Cell wall is, first of all, it is only present in plant cell, okay? It is only present in plant cell. So, whenever we are talking about it, it should be clear to you that we are just talking about plant cell and it is not possible in the case of animal cell. Now, this is a plant cell which I am making. This green layer is the cell wall. And just inner to it is the plasma membrane. So, this is our cell wall and this is our plasma membrane. So, here in this diagram, it is very much clear that plant cell contains both cell wall and plasma membrane. So, if we compare it with animal cell, plant cell has an added advantage because it has one additional layer. Now, what is the composition of cell wall? Means, it is made up of which material? So, cell wall is made up of cellulose. Now, what is cellulose? Cellulose is a type of saccharide. Okay, It is a type of polysaccharide. It is a type of carbohydrate, you can say. Because you are much known to the term carbohydrate. So, saccharides are nothing new. This you will study if you will take bio in senior classes that carbohydrates are also known as saccharides. Now, how is this cellulose being made? You must be knowing glucose, right? Glucose is the smallest molecule that is why we will call it as a monomer, right? When many units of glucose, okay, when many units of glucose, infinite units, I am not writing glucose again and again. That is why I am writing infinite units. Means infinite times when glucose is being added, it results in the formation of cellulose. So cellulose, because glucose is a carbohydrate, so obviously Cellulose will also be a carbohydrate, okay? So, cell wall forms the outermost boundary of the plant cell. It is made up of cellulose. Now, we have already discussed about turgor pressure in our past videos when we, we, we were talking about endosmosis and exosmosis. Now, see here, whenever a cell becomes turgid, now when a cell becomes turgid, a turgid cell is a one that has swelled up, okay? So, swelled up is synonymous with turgid and whenever a cell does endosmosis, it becomes turgid. We already talked about that when a cell becomes turgid, it applies pressure from in inner side to the outer side. The pressure which is from inner to outer side, it is known as turgor pressure. Now, in the plant cell, cell wall gives added beneficial thing to the cell. It 
और वेन अ सेल अप्लाइज प्रेशर फ्रॉम इनर टू आउटर साइड सेल वॉल ऑल्सो एक्सर्ट प्रेशर इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ओके सो हेयर द ब्लैक लाइन्स आर शोइंग द टर्गर प्रेशर और द टीपी वेयर एज द रेड लाइन्स आर शोइंग द वॉल प्रेशर सो वॉल प्रेशर इज एक्सर्टेड फ्रॉम द सेल वॉल टू द सेंटर ऑफ द सेल एंड यू नो वेन अ सेल इज कंप्लीटली सोलन टर्गर प्रेशर इज इक्वल्स टू वॉल प्रेशर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वेन एवर अ सेल इज शोइंग प्लास्मोलिसिस राइट एट दैट टाइम वॉल प्रेशर इज मोर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न वेन अ सेल इज लूजिंग वॉटर वेन अ सेल इज शोइंग प्लास्मोलिसिस वेन इट इज प्लेस्ड इन द हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन वॉटर विल कम आउट ऑफ द सेल एट दिस टाइम वॉल प्रेशर इज मोर राइट वेन द सेल इज प्लेस्ड इन द हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स वेन एंडो ऑस्मोसिस इज देयर देन एट दैट टाइम टर्गर प्रेशर विल बी मोर अ सेल विच इज कंप्लीटली फुली सोलन इन अ फुली सोलन सेल टर्गर प्रेशर विल बी इक्वल टू द वॉल प्रेशर इफ द सेल इज गोइंग टू गेट बर्स्ट दैट मीन्स द टर्गर प्रेशर इज वेरी वेरी हाई एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच इनर साइड इज एक्सर्टिंग मोर प्रेशर ऑन द आउट साइड एज अ रिजल्ट it will burst but generally plant cells they don't burst because they have cell wall so cell wall gives an added advantage to the plant cell it is rigidity it is full of rigidity right now if you compare cell wall with plasma membrane there are important differences which you must know If you have not watched my video on plasma membrane, do watch it out. You will be able to do on this own. Cell wall is made up of. We just talked about. It is made up of cellulose, right? And here it is made up of lipids. You can write it in a complete sub uh, sentence that it is made up of lipids and proteins. Now cell wall is permeable. and here it is semi permeable only few substances can pass through it not all right it is present in the plant cell right here you will write it is absent in the animal cell in short i am writing ac ac means animal cell okay now the next difference which we are going to uh, make is the diagram okay in such questions always make the diagram so cell wall is the outermost boundary of the plant cell this is our cell wall right and here you just need to make the plasma membrane and it would be great if you could make the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane right fluid mosaic model was the bi layer model if you have not watched my video please do visit plasma membrane once i'll be giving the link of it in the i button on the extreme right side you can click and watch out that okay now we have discussed enough about cell wall we need to talk about one more thing the composition of cell wall varies in bacteria and fungus so it is important to note that bacteria and fungus they also contain cell wall but it is made up of different material right so in bacteria the cell wall is made up of cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan okay it is made up of peptidoglycan whereas in fungus the cell wall is made up of one of the type of carbohydrate which is known as chitin so if a two marker question comes i have told you enough points what should be written in cell wall 
right if you have not understood any point don't hesitate to replay the concept should be clearer to you now my question for this one is that what is the composition of cell wall in a plant cell okay i have already discussed this question in my video if not if you don't know the answer you can replay to get the answer the name of the children will be taken in the upcoming video don't hesitate to ask any query if you have the description already has my email id you can reach out through that and please do share my channel link or this video with your friend so that everyone can be benefited see you in next video thank you